Welcome back to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create layouts in Framer. My name is Ashok and you are watching the Framer 101. Okay, so now let's dive into my screen and I'll show you how to create amazing layouts. Uh, first of all, I want to start with the website that I have designed and developed for podcast. Uh, let's talk about layout here. So the layout I have here, uh, let, if you talk about this thing, right, image and this one. So it is like one and two, two column layout, right? So layouts are always built using columns, rows and all, right? And grids. Nowadays, there is CSS grid. So you can use CSS grid to create a grid like layouts. I'll talk about that in, in a while. Uh, here you can say one, two, three, four, five, five column layout, right? Here, three column layout. Here it's a four column layout. And here again, it's a three column layout, but I'm using a greedy here. This site is built in Vaflow, but I'm just giving you an example how the layouts are built, right? So it's a grid here. I'll show you how you can do that in Framer. Uh, this session one, this is again a two column layout. This footer is like three column layout with two column layout for this last row, right? So let's say you want to create this in Framer. How can you do that? So go to Framer and here you will have a layout. Click on this layout, add a frame. Frame will work like a container for your layout, right? This, let's say this is my container. And this is the fix with right now. I don't want it to be fill and all, right? So it's like the fi fixed content or the fixed width of this container. And on the left hand side, I have this content, right? So, and image. So I will here simply add, let's say another frame or, or let's say image. Here, I'm just adding this image, right? I don't want to upload any image for now. Let's change its color, background color to something lighter, right? That one. And we had a heading, right? Let's call it heading and uh, just increase the size of it. Let's say 72, 70, 72 pixels, right? This is my heading. I don't want to wow work with this text thing, styling thing right now. Let's just uh, understand this part first, right? After that, I can have a paragraph, right? So let's make it uh, 24. Let's make it 24 for paragraph. Paragraph, paragraph content, okay? Man, I had a uh, button. So let's let's use frame here in Framer. You have to use frame to create buttons. This is let's say this is your button, and you come here in the link. You can link it to wherever you want, right? So this is how you create buttons in Framer. Okay, so this is my layout. But now I want this layout to be in the center of this image, right? So I'll just drag. I'll just use shift and right click uh, left click on uh, on these e things and i'll use right click and add stack right so this is like this will work like a stack means a row uh, kind of thing so here in this layout this is the main part when you are using a layout creating layouts right Right now it is stack, not grid. Remember I just showed you on my demo website that how to use grid, right? Uh, how I used grid on that website. So this is grid. Now it's stack. Stack you can call flexbox in CSS, right? But here they are calling a stack, right? If you learn, if you want to learn more about uh, flexbox or this stack, you can go to w3schools.com and from there you can check out flexbox CSS. Right. Stack, I want its direction to be vertical, right? So that it goes from top to bottom. And distribution is uh, center. No, I, I want my content to start from top. Just look at this. See the, how it moves. And I want to, to align my content to the left hand side. I don't want this in the center. So everything will be in the left hand side. And 
and wrap i don't want any wrap for now but wrap work like if you just do wrap then it will automatically wrap your content on the next uh, line or the row right the gap gap means this the, if you look at this pink line that is called gap between uh, the content you have right so let's say right now it is uh, uh, let, let's add it 20 24 or something let's do 24 24 just look at this right and uh, now I want this uh, whole box in the center of this item right so right now it says a uh, distributed for this one but here I can just drag this and I can make it center aligned right now here right but I don't want it like that so what I want to do is uh, I'll just click on my container here in the layers panel you can see the frame I have right you can name them by double clicking that see it works like rows click that and on this layout side just click on this tag right click on the layout it by default it is tag and if you want you can create a grid right now if you look at this it is a horizontal layout right now if i do vertical it will work like this if i do horizontal it's like this and it is in the center everything is in the center if you look at this right and uh, align is in the center distributed in the center space between means uh, it will take full width and leave space between that contents you have right right now i just want it to be in the center and i can add some gap here let's say uh, 120 right so this is my container now it says columns because you have a layout right horizontal layout that's why it's column because horizontally you like one two and three it's column layout something like i showed you on my website here is its rows by default they will name it you can change the names as per uh, i i would say you keep uh i mean change names here so that if anyone is working on your website someone else is working on your website so they know what is this used for right so in the future they don't make any mistakes so yeah this is how you can create a layout using uh, frame image rows and columns now let's talk about grids so let's say i want uh, this to be in the grid i don't want uh, content to be like this right in the stack let's say grid let's take grid uh, separately here i click here, layout grid i will just drag and drop something like that and by default it is uh, like grid two columns and two rows right two columns and two rows i i just want one row right so i'll, I'll just come here and i will just uh, delete this frame i will delete this frame so right now it is two rows again but i'll just do minus so two column one row layout the same layout if i just copy this thing from here just paste it i just copy the image i just paste the image here down here right see this is how easy it is to create these layouts or with grid or or with just a columns uh, rows or you can call it stack as a flex box it's simple but if you are coming from this css and html background that you would know that otherwise i highly recommend you look uh, into this w3 schools website and learn a little bit of css basics so it's easy for you to create layouts in framer or in any other website builder tools right uh, so yeah i think uh, this is it for this video uh, this is how you can create layouts in framer in the next video i'll talk about the cms how you can use cms uh, in framer to create dynamic layouts and dynamic pages for your client's website right till then bye